Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X, for another short tutorial and exploration into the Automaton's update and the event controller. Um, one of the things I've always wanted to do, one of the things I did during the, uh, the test of the Automaton's update was create an automatic set of lights or switchable lights that are based on the time of day. In other words, if it's daytime, the lights are off. And if it's nighttime, the lights turn on. So how can you do this? Well, you can do this using the event controller. And just to show you the thing in action, here's my little habitat on my survival save. Here's all my interior lights at the time of day. If I hold down the right bumper, press Y, and then just come down to time of day offset and push it forward until night time. There you go. All the lights come on and my little habitat is lit up for nighttime use. And when it's daytime, my little habitat conserves energy by turning all the lights off. But how is it done? Well, we use a combination of the event controller and a solar panel. And we're going to use the solar panel as a photoreceptor like you would do on a real system um, that detects time of day rather like a garden light so if we grab hold of our light armor block here we'll make a little platform hold down the left bumper and tap the right trigger you can change the placement mode you can align it to the planetary gravity or artificial gravity and so on and we want this just a few blocks oh, of course we also need for this demonstration to be in creative mode tools so again admin menu I'll be in Y down to creative mode tools just pop that on and this will let you build in survival as though you're in creative. Otherwise, we'd have to do this whole thing from scratch. And for a demonstration like this, I don't really want to do that. And I'm recording this um, video uh, to schedule it so that it should go up. It'll either be up Saturday or Sunday, depending on how I feel, because I am at the UK Games expo over the weekend friday saturday and sunday and if you're in birmingham and you can make it to the nec and you're interested in games role-playing games board games and the like then it's worth popping over to the uk games expo and uh, saying hello to people okay so let's just grab our wall here here, here, and here. And we'll put some, we'll put some lighting in. Let's go for one of my favorite blocks. the inset light pop a couple of those down and we're going to need a few batteries as well because none of this will work without 
batteries. And you can also have, um, I mean, if you look over on my base, I've got solar panels, I've got batteries, and I've got wind turbines feeding that headquarters. So you can have all that power coming in. What we want to do here is we want to make a little group. And once again, hold down the right bumper, tap A on the first inset light with the right bumper held, tap A on the second inset light, make a group, use the left stick to move across to block groups, press A on it, and then just name it something that you know you can find easily. And then, because you want the lights off during the day, turn them off now. Come round to the front again. Lights are off. So, we have the basis of our demonstration. What do we need now? Well, we're going to need two things. And we're going to need... A solar panel to act as our detector And the final piece of the puzzle, if we dig out this piece of wall here, left trigger it because we're in creative mode, and go to our programmable block in the advanced systems, etc., and go all the way along with A until we reach the event controller, select that, rotate it until we get it into the right place. Rotate it there. We're going to need an event controller. Set up on this. We open its control panel. And we go to the event called Power Output. And you'll see there's equal or greater than. And on this, we want the threshold to be about 3%. And to easily get to that, hold the right bumper down and tap the D-pad right once. And there we have our equal or greater than. And on our actions bar, we want to go to our groups. We want to go to our lights. And we want our lights off and then on. And then... If this has worked properly, when we advance time, now our event controller isn't picking up on this. So why is that? It's always the way. It can be a bit tricky setting this up. Let me just, oh, I know why. I missed a step. But that's important, troubleshooting in Space Engineers. What we need to do, go into the event controller, because the event controller doesn't know the block that I'm using. So it's important to make sure that you add your solar panel as a detector. There we go. So now it's telling you that the solar panel is at 94.7%. And because that's the case, our active action should be one which is lights off so when it gets darker the lights come on and you'll see that when we're on slot two our event controller turns blue and when we are on slot one it goes cyan to let you know that it's on that particular action 
and that particular part of the event controller. As I said before, with event controllers, your first action is if this is true. Your second action is if the action is false. So in our case, if this solar panel is generating anything above 3% or 0.3% even of its threshold, turn the lights off, keep them off. And when it stops generating power at night, turn the lights on. And that is how you do it. Remember to make sure though, if it's not working, double check your event controller and double check that you have actually selected and added your solar panel that you're using as your detector. And you can have solar panels already functioning in this system. You just need to pick one add it to the event controller and use that as your detector for your day night cycle. And then you can have a nice set of base lights all lit up, all nicely done for night time, like my little habitat here. So I go inside. So I wanted to make this one short, sweet, simple, little 10 minute or so video on how to set this all up. Like I said, since I'm at the uh, UK Games Expo this um, weekend, I won't be putting a video up over the weekend myself, so I can schedule this one to go live probably Saturday morning to give you something to have a look at on the channel. Until then, though, stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game. Loads more to come from me, loads more to come from Space Engineers itself. This Automaton's update is great but it is just the tip of the iceberg of what Keen Software want to do with the automation in the game and the AI itself. Next idea for videos, uh, if you have something you want to see me do or you're interested in learning, especially if you're on the PlayStation version of the game through the, the test that's running at the moment, um, then feel free, drop by, uh, leave me a comment and as your likes, your subscribes. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Bye for now.